32-year-old Andy Groff is a joyful person, always has been, but for the past few months, he's had a feeling he just can't shake. Just kind of general depression, it's just heartbreaking and stressful. You could tell it was that bad? Well, yeah, so um, Andy is usually a pretty bubbly person. So when he tells me he wants to crawl into a hole until, you know, February, it's like, okay, this is different. This is different. Andy's good friend, Kate Lester, says what upset him so was watching the pandemic's death toll tick higher and realizing we were suffering from a serious lack of empathy. We could all be doing our part and instead we're pretending like it doesn't matter and then shrugging at the results. Andy says he felt hopeless until he and Kate took a trip to a familiar neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Andy has always admired Mr. Rogers. He was telling Kate all about it when she proposed an idea. If we could refocus on some of the people who are having the hardest time with this pandemic, it might help us find the gratitude for what we do have, right? And it would help them get through it. To do that, they began looking for ways to be kind. They started by targeting folks in assisted living and senior centers, and then created a Facebook group to share their good deeds. Hundreds responded, either with a kind word or asking how they could help. Hi! Some even put on a parade for residents here at this facility. Andy and Kate call their mission, Won't You Be Our Neighbor, Denton. And they've placed donation boxes around the city encouraging others to pitch in. We're all neighbors. Uh, we're all in this together. If people will adopt that lesson first of kindness and empathy, because that's how you fight it. We love looking out for ourselves, but we're so much stronger when we love our neighbor just the same. Please won't you be in Denton. My neighbor, my neighbor. I'm Sean Giggy. What these are?